All right, hello and welcome everybody back to the video. My name is Jerry from CFI and I appreciate you guys stopping by. You might think this is kind of weird what I'm doing here, but what I'm actually doing is saving a ton of storage and a ton of performance flying on VATSIM. Let's get into this video. Okay guys, so what you just saw right there was me downscaling my 4K FSTL traffic or whatever the resolution is, I think for 2K it's set to by default. And we're downscaling it to just 1024, so about uh, you know a lot less resolution. That does a couple of things. One, all the airplanes around you will be a bit less resolution. The uh, the um, other traffic that are flying on Vatsim, but I don't really care because I don't care what they look like. I just need to know it's you know it's an American triple seven. That's about it. I don't care if it's high quality graphics. I care about my airplane more. The other thing it does is it will save you your uh, storage on your hardware, or on your, sorry, on your storage drive. So 4K textures, this many of them takes up a lot of storage. You'll probably end up saving 40 to 60 gigs depending on how many traffic files you do have. And it'll tell you at the end how much you've saved. So for this, you're gonna need three things. Uh, we only have two here, but I have one I put in a file somewhere that I'll show you where it is. The compressinator, which will be in the description, texture optimizer, and the Texcon. Go download those three right now. You're going to need all three of them, so make sure they're all downloaded. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to install the texture optimizer. You're going to start it up. Mine's already installed, so it won't let me do it, but I'm going to press next. And on the bottom, or you're going to go next until it tells you to choose a file location. You want to stop there and choose the right location. What you're going to do for the location, I'll show you with File Explorer. You're going to navigate yourself to this PC, C drive, users, the name of the computer, which for me is this, and that's it. You're going to press install. Once you've got to that part, you want to install it to this path. C users, name the computer. That's it. Whatever it may be for you. You're going to press run and it's going to install. Same exact thing for the compression. You're going to go next, choose file location, exact same path. You're going to go C, drive, users, name of the computer, and install it right there. And once those are done, you'll notice that once you go to the C drive, you'll have the texture optimizer in there. You'd actually have a, another one, but I, there we go. It would look like this. You're also gonna have bin and the CLI folder. Now, the last step, that we, or the second last step we have to really do is, for the three applications anyways, is this Texcon file. Once you've installed it, installed to your desktop, wherever, you're gonna drag it and drop it right in this, uh, in this C drive, users, name the computer, bin CLI. So this is where it is, C drive, users, name of the computer, bin, whoop, my alarm going off, and CLI right in there. Okay, just drop it and drag and drop right in this folder. Once you're done all that, you're gonna open a notepad. And we're gonna put a line of code in here. Whoop, that's the full code. Let me get you the line of code you're first gonna get. It'll be in the description as well, and you're gonna paste this just like so. So control C will copy, control V Victor will paste. So copy this in the description, paste it in notepad and notice where it says your path. We're going to fill this with our path. So we're going to go over here, bring that over there, find your community folder, which for most people is if it's, if they bought it on the store, it's going to be C drive, name of the computer, sorry, C drive users at the bottom there, C, uh, name of the computer, app data, local, packages, Microsoft Limitless, local cache, packages, community. Once you finally get to your community folder, um, you're going to locate your FSTL traffic base, open that folder up, and you're going to copy this entire path with control C. Okay, make sure it's all copied. We're going to press control C and then bring our notepad back going to highlight your path and control victor v will paste it make sure the the, uh, the quotes are over what we want so source quote traffic base quote all right and then you're going to copy all of this open a command prompt with windows key on your keyboard cmd just a regular command prompt you're going to Control V to paste, and you're going to press enter. And then 
if all goes well, it's going to be doing this. And it's going to start, it doesn't have what it started as, but it's going to be doing this and it's going to take a bit. It's that 50%. I've been running for about 20 minutes now. All right, guys. So once the CMD file is all finished, you should get a very, at the bottom, you should get a, a total with the input files and the output. I saved 40 gigs. So what we're going to do now is tell the pilot to use that file we've created. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. So everything's starting up in the background there. I'm going to go to model matching. Make sure if we're using it for 24, make sure you're on 24 and 2020 for the other one. Press the little plus, custom rules. Going to remove FSTL, add custom, and now we're gonna to go to the community folder. And you can see there's two of them here. We're gonna go ahead and get the FSTL traffic base optimized, FSTL rules, open, apply. And that's just because I didn't have an input. There we go, I'll set that. So now it should look at that file. And that's what I'm gonna do. Community folder, you should have an optimized folder now and use the optimized fstlrules.vmr folder. Apply and hit okay. If you want, you can also hit uh, rescan just so everything is working correctly. And while that's doing that, we're gonna open our file explorer community and we are going to delete fstl traffic base. And we are going to rename this one once it's fully deleted. FSTL traffic base. There we go. And now everything is ready to go. You can go on VATSIM. You'll be having the same traffic models, but they're downscaled from 4K to 1K, and you should have a much better time with that uh, performance that you have now. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.